Hello. Is it on? It is. Oh, hi. Hi. You really want to jump the gun. You're really excited about this I one. I am. Uh, I love Idiot Abroad. <laughs> yeah, Idiot Abroad time him. with uh, Mr. K. Dilkington. And they're in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Uh, I've seen this before. It's been a long time, though. But the the only thing I really remember is uh, when Sir Carl goes into a Mexican wrestle, wrestling ring. Yeah. yeah we were that was trying to funny. figure out what that's called. I think it's called uh, Lucha Libre. Mucha Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre. Lucha, we'll Luchadors, out. I believe they're called. Um, but who knows, really? We'll find we, out. I might just be talking smack, so... But uh, Idiot Abroad, Season 1, Episode 4, this is in Mexico. So we're going to get into this. You okay? Yeah, I was trying to scoot closer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this should be fun. Remember to uh, check below, make sure you're subscribed, and hit the notification bell. That way you know whenever we drop a reaction video, okay? So here we go, folks. Let's see what Carl is up to in Mexico. All right, our lovely neighbors to the south. Here I we go. He drinks. That drink that has the worm in it. Tequila? Yeah. I didn't know if I could say tequila. If it's on YouTube, I don't know. Why would you not be able to Aren't say tequila? Aren't you not allowed to say, like, cigarettes or tequila? Or... No, I'm not allowed to show cigarettes. Oh, apparently. okay. I've gotten so many videos flagged for showing people smoking there's, cigarettes. Sorry, there's very weird rules. Yeah. So I was like, can we say tequila? Yeah, and they get stricter all the time. But yeah. hey, I'm just not complaining. I'm just following the rules. But uh, here we go, folks. Let's get into Mexico. Listen. Oh, whoops. I was like, I don't hear it. <laughs> what is that? What is what? A little thing you just took out. Wonders of the world. There we go. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. Is your computer level? The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest Please. achievement. Your sound. But there's one man who yeah, sees him differently. It's... I think we go with that. I should yeah. be going, what's been going on? <laughs> Carl Pilkington. I don't know the correct term. Close your mouth. More. I think. He is a round, empty headed, chimp like moron. And he's a friend. You're not meant to laugh, you're meant to go, ooh. He's a typical little Englander and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Ah. Oh. Oh. I just think that it'd be amazing. To send him around the world. On the my animals. eyes have never been so busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always something there going, look at me. So you like that. So your neck, by the end of today, my neck will be well and truly worn out. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl oh in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the might of Sky behind me. Shit! Shit! This is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go! Oh. Jesus Christ! I think that's going to be in this episode too. Next up, Carl. Chichen Itza in Mexico. I've heard of it. Have you? No, I know you'll I I think know. it looks a little like a pyramid. Yeah. Not just about the, the building, though, is it? They're really cool to see. Mexico, very different to Egypt. A completely different country on a different continent, thousands of miles away. Used, of course, for human sacrifice back in the day. Yeah, the death yeah. thing's good. Right. So as opposed to celebrating life and culture, you want to go around... Well, that's more relevant to me than this, isn't it? A pyramid well, isn't for me, is it? I'm not going to use a pyramid, but I am going to well, die. It's not about death. And the great yes. thing is, Carl, that in a lot of these countries, it's a very high murder rate. Yeah. So there's a strong chance that you or one of there's, the crew could get killed. Maybe if you've got a building for it, it's equivalent of, like, Death Hill, isn't it? <laughs> if you've got something called that in an area, it encourages it. Knock it down, say, don't do that anymore, it's bad. <laughs> I think it, a lot oh, of there also... you go. Knock it down. What? Well, um, anyway, you're going. Get your bags, your passport. We've got to get you to the airport. 
packing again. Um, this time for Mexico. This guy's got to be really tired from all this travelling, though. I mean, it's the same clothes, really. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I've got the same pants, I've got the same t-shirt. Um, oh, maybe wow. a different flavour of crisps. What, what crisps have you got? Uh, Monster Munch, pickled onion. Uh, it's good to have things like this. Um, what do you like about the Monster Munch? It's just a bit. You know what though? That cheers you up. Can I start really this? Be... Yeah, there we go. You know what though? I think he's after the first three trips. So it looks like he's actually really carefully planning what he's bringing. Yeah, I'm cause... sure you get better at it the more you. Yeah. Do it in travel. And his, you know, it looks like he's really concerned about food. Yeah. Because in some of those places he wasn't. Especially in Jordan, he didn't. Yeah. Oh, well, really, they got good food. Where he didn't going. like the food until he slept in that, uh, in the hole across from. Yeah. Uh, he Petra. did like that because it looked like they just had <laughs> chicken on like an open. Yeah, fire. that actually looked really good. Sort of tasty. We're just having a little monster to look at when you're fed up. <laughs> All right, Carl. I actually want to go. To Mexico City when it's like the Day of the Dead festival. Yeah, I think that that'd be really, really cool. Fun. It does. Yeah, that looks like it would be amazing. You have one new message. Hello, mate. It's Steve. I've never been to Mexico, but I've heard that it's a pretty lovely place. You know, it'd be pretty wild. But obviously, you've arrived during Easter. In a very religious country, there's going to be a lot of celebrations going on, and um, we've arranged for you to to get in the thick of it, and hopefully see uh, Jesus as well. If we could, so uh, track down a local taxi driver. We should be waiting for him. So he's called Edgar. Cheers, mate. The Jesus. The Jesus. Hey, Carl. How are you doing, Carlos? How you doing, man? I'm all right. Yeah. Hey, eh? Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go, What's man. What's happened to you? Eh? This, all this. Yeah, it's some <laughs> crash me, man. Crashed yeah. Okay. Is this yours? Yeah? This dog? Yes. That's yours? Yes, yeah, it's Jack. Isn't it? Oh. Normal. I love it. I love the dog. Is this a little chihuahua? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I was just about to say. Chihuahuas can be demons, dude. That one looks so nice. I mean, I like all dogs, but chihuahuas are like the one that like, oh my God. They're, they're like little Demon seeds, Not man. always. My sister has a long hair chihuahua and it's a little sweetie. Yeah. They can be sweet. That one too. looks really sweet. It just kind of choked. He went, <laughs> I, I thought he was trying to bite him. No, he went, <laughs> like he was choking <laughs> on something. <laughs> They're very cute, he but coughed. some of them can be like, ugh. My uh, uncle Lenny has one, and if uh, you look at it the wrong way, it's like, blah, blah, blah. yeah. <laughs> I see that one looks so nice. When you first get them, it's a really old thing. Yeah. And a, a friend of my mum had one, sat on a seafront. Yeah. A seagull came down, took it away. Uh -huh. No, seagull, bird. Yeah. Their seagulls are down, huge there. Remember that video we were it, watching? And you were like, never saw it again. Yeah. No shit. No shit. Fucking hell, man. I know. Today is the day of the Jesus Christ die. So I'm gonna, gonna show you the celebration. It's a good celebration, man. You know, a lot of romance, Mexican romance, and well, quite funny, man. I've got a girlfriend. Nice butt. <laughs> what? Nice butt. Smart. Nice butt. Nice body. Yeah. She used to have. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not. You know, I'm not having a go. I used to look better than this. Yeah. So I just think, you know, we're both we've both sort of lost good, out a little bit. Good that. Um. Yeah, they're fine. I mean, it's okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I've it's never. It's good to have a good, a good body, you know. Oh. Okay, Carlitos. You wanna do this street? Well, you you I, I don't, I don't even know if they're still together. But it, the, one of the funniest things I ever heard on uh, that Ricky Gervais show cartoon, mm -hmm. they were reading his diary, and they said they were uh, at a restaurant and some. They were uh, looking at some old man's like fingers and nose and like they mm -hmm. were talking about how uh your uh fingers and nose continue to grow i don't know if your fingers do but your nose and ears nose and yeah, ears i think and it ears was, continue, continue to grow, to grow as yeah. you get older mm -hmm. and then he looks at his girlfriend suzanne and says and says yeah your ass has the same problem <laughs> 
Guys like big asses now, though. That's like the thing. <laughs> Shut up. You know, prolongation Juarez. This one here? Yeah, the big celebration of, is over there. See you later, okay? Ciao. Seems to be a big deal here, Easter, whereas at home it's just, you know, I said to him, I said, oh, do you have a chocolate egg? And he was like, what? He had no idea. You don't have chocolate eggs here. I mean, for me, that's what Easter is. Take the eggs away, it's, you know what I mean? It's Friday. No, that's not what Easter's you about. The, you take the eggs away and it's Friday. Oh, oh my oh, God. They're really getting yeah. this. They're making this very realistic. Has he fell over? I think it's, it's part of the story. Somebody helps him. Yeah, no, somebody helps him to get the cross up. No, that's I don't right. know, but surely he wouldn't want someone helping him, would he? That's like saying, come on, I'll see you get crucified. You say, put it down, don't be helping me. It's the it's it's one time in your life where you don't want help. <laughs> He's coming through again. He's got a rush on. What did you say? I said, look at your Roman soldier ancestors. My Roman uh, <laughs> legionary uh, ancestors. Yeah, they're not being nice. No, they were not nice people. It didn't matter if you were a violent protester or a peaceful protester like Jesus. You had the same punishment. Yeah, Up on the cross you go. Mine were out on boats. Yeah. You think yours were any nicer? No, they were not nice. They were they were not very nice to our audience. No, they were not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Viking Coming, ancestors were not nice. Coming in, you start hearing drums. Uh, you start hearing drums along the shoreline. <laughs> Run. <laughs> they, they start running. Yeah. Blame her, folks. <laughs> Although the Ro you know, the Romans conquered Britain too. Yeah. So. Just what you want, innit? Imagine that. Being taken, you know, your life's gonna end. You got someone with a recorder. <laughs> it's a worse sound going, isn't it? It's a worse instrument that. I'd say do it here. <laughs> I actually agree with Carl on that. I do I'm not like Oh, okay. Hope that wasn't real. I thought it was a proper accident before when he was walking up real. and he fell over. I thought it was a proper trip, and it was. He's obviously his leg look. But it does sort of ruin the whole sort of Jesus-type image when, you know, someone from St. John's Ambulance is sticking a bit of Savalon on his knee. That's true. Oh, my God. That's actually true. Oh, uh, but it's a reenactment. come on. he actually on. got hurt. Not after, because they were so concerned about his knee, putting Savalon stuff on it. I don't think they'd do that and then say, right, give us your hands. <laughs> It'd be a bit, uh, be a bit extreme. They used it? to do it until 1984. They used to do it with nails. Here, yeah. Well, what sort of a nail do you use for that? I always struggle. <laughs> Doing DIY, you just never, you never get it right. I do not know what sort would go through. Oh. oh they would actually. Not to. Uh... They'd actually nail the person's hand. Yeah. No, but like. Oh, in, in this. In the reenactment, he just said it, until 1984 they actually would nail their hand. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's a little too much. Yeah, Mexico, Mexico's wild. Yeah. Um, then not to be critical of, because I really like the reenactment of this or anything, but the uh, when I see Roman legionnaires, they, they, because the outfits, they, they look like they were made yesterday. You know? <laughs> well, I just... The Romans were dirty. And I'm saying that as... You know, half of my blood these, came from there. Those, these people don't have like a whole lot of money, so they're just no. But well, it, it's, it looks brand new. It looks like they, <laughs> like you know, they're going to a Roman fashion show. I'm just, fashion, I'm just. Though. This is pointless criticism. So I want it to be dirty. I want it to look. <laughs> I want like it, want it to look more. like it's real. <laughs> You're a goof. Like the uh, the out the. Some of the out, like the Roman legionnaire outfits from uh, Life of Brian that I just watched. Oh, yeah. I really like those. I, I kind of want to watch that. Uh, 
Well, obviously, you know, all this means a lot to these people, doesn't it? Whereas I've, I've never seen anything like this at home. Anything. You know, at home, really. It's a sort of a... It's got religion linked to it, but really, it's just a time of the year for greedy people to feel like they're doing a bit of good. Oh, I love Jesus, me. Have you got any eggs? I mean, why is an egg even involved in it? I don't, I don't know the connection between Jesus and an egg. Because well, he can't be happy with that, can he? If he was on his cross on his last breath and someone said, we're going to remember you, Jesus, and he was like, great, what are you going to do? We're going to have egg. You what? Uh, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't be chuffed. Okay, so Carl's not a religious guy. Is no, he? he's not, no. but... The... We're gonna have chocolate We're eggs. gonna have an egg. What? <laughs> oh, God. I love, I love Carl, man. Do that. Oh, my God. It's not like this at home, is it, Easter? You know, my Easter weekend, I'm normally sat watching James Bond or, you know, just nipping out to B&Q, stuff like that, but... Somehow, I, I can't okay, see that happening there. They're like... Since I've been here, you know, I've sort of been thinking about things that I know about Mexico, which isn't that much, but then I just remember seeing a Mexican jumping bean on Sesame Street when I was a kid. Mexican jumping beans. Okay, no, Carl. What are you laughing at? I told my mum about them and she was like, what are you on about? She ended up buying me some marbles instead. But I've always wanted to see one in real life. Mexican jumping beans. Mexican jumping beans. Have you heard of them? It's like a bean and it jumps about. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if you're meant to eat them, I don't know if you get them in a food shop or a pet shop. Like a little bean, pop it in your hand. I thought it'd be like Heinz yeah, beans. Girl. You can get them anywhere at home. You know Heinz beans? You got no brakes? Yeah. How do you brake? Yeah. Brake? Yeah. How? Yeah. No brake. Yeah. You're mad, you Mexicans. You need brakes. It's not safe. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Carl. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't mean anything by it. Though. I know. He's just like. Did you pack any shorts? Or Mexicans are really brakes. No, I didn't pack anything like that. No. Oh, here we go. That was a long shot, wasn't it? But listen. You'll be all right. I've arranged for you to do a bit of wrestling. Neutrally, Ray. Yeah. What, what's that got to do with the Seven Wonders? I'm here to see a wonder. For the general public, that would count as a wonder. It's an honour. It's huge in Mexico, Mexican wrestling. Just go and enjoy it. It'd be funny for me to watch it. I've had enough practice, haven't I? I mean, you know, you've, you've sort of had me in headlock, so... <laughs> you know, <yeah. laughs> And they probably won't be as heavy as me. No, that's, that's a silly, that's a silly. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. All right. I'll see you later. Enjoy yourself. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, Hello. it's Sandy. Hello. Bloody hell. I'm not doing it in front of a crowd, am I? I'm just getting some training. Yeah, some yeah, training, yeah. yeah. I thought he was going to think I'm doing it in front of a crowd. No, it's I'm good, not, isn't it? Don't think I'm just about to go and uh, wrestle with the shocker. I told Suzanne about it, right? I said, don't be hassling me, I'm about to go wrestling. She sent me a text, be careful. How do you use the DVD player? So that's, that's good, isn't it? She's not that worried. Hey! Nice to meet you, Carlitos. How are you doing? You're shocker. 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 Very pleased to meet you. You know, as somebody who uh, used to watch a lot of wrestling when I was a kid, mm -hmm. um, back when it's WWE now, but it used to be WWF. Um, but I remember I usually watched like the first hour of WCW because it was on at eight instead yeah. of nine. And uh, that's when they would have all the uh, all the uh, Latino wrestlers. Oh yeah, and most of them came from Mexico. And, uh, and did like this their matches wrestling. were the their matches were like really entertaining because it's it's it's, it's all, like a lot of uh, acrobatics and yeah, fl high flying and yeah, I've seen some stuff. videos. It looks really cool. Their style is actually like really fun to watch. Show you around. You're a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they would have given me a little fella to sort of and try out with. Masks. Oh, you want a little fella? How big? This big? Smell. Oh, <laughs> no, come it's here, boy. Sort of kick. Watch. 
Sailed. Yeah, but it, it actually it hurts. Yeah. Whenever when they fall like that, like it, they think it's so, people think yeah, there's like a trampoline like underneath, like no, as a wood. mat. No, That's it's why wood. It makes that noise. Yeah. The wood gives, but it's still wood. Yeah. It it really hurts. It's funny, you know, to him. But this is like how. Ax <laughs> I know it's Ricky that set it up, and it's funny, you know, to him. But this is like how accidents happen, and it? it's like the start of casualty. You watch that program, everyone's having fun. It's a party or something. People are going on holiday in a bus, and you know it's all going to go wrong. And that's how this feels. It feels like the start of casualty. That's just someone being chucked around. That's going to be me out there. Yep. I mean, does he know the full story that I'm here to see the Seven Wonders? I haven't come here to be trained as a. No, he doesn't know. No, well, it's. I should tell him, really. Better on you. Wow. Oh my yeah. gosh. Good yes, Carl. Oh my god, right, not bad. I love it. I like the hey, cape part the best. And jump the oh, I like the yeah, little yeah, you awesome. know, jump over. Whoa! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Good job. I almost got it. Okay, we're gonna start with a basic training of wrestling. Are you ready? I can't remember it like I'm trying to remember this episode. I can't remember if he likes doing it or not. Um it's probably a mix, but... You'll be okay in a couple of days. Come on. Ready? You gotta follow the lead, okay? Come on. There this you is go. hard. See, guys, Very hard. Ah. Well, obviously, you ah. Okay? Can I be you in that one? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you shit! Yeah. Oh, I missed a thing. <laughs> go! Oh my god, go! <laughs> You gotta hit the ropes. Like he's playing Red Rover. <laughs> Good job. Pull that. Let's just. Muevelo, muevelo. You're sick. Don't throw up. We should wrestle. Is it normal to feel this sick? You want to? Yeah. Why? Because I think I'd win. I think it would turn into something else. No. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm pretty strong. <laughs> so I mean, a pervert. Oh, did he put the sharpshooter on him? Let me see. Oh, I, I've hit the mute button by accident. Is it normal to feel this sick? Yeah, it's a sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah. Did you give up? Yeah. Yeah. He goes, yep. Instantly. Oh, come on, Carl. You're gonna be so yeah, sore. Sore. Yeah. 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 Can You see me shaking. It hasn't done me confidence any good, really, because I thought it was fitter than that. I like it was fancy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not letting her watch this one. Whenever, whatever night this goes on, I'm going to take her out for something to eat. I want to stay and watch. No, we're going out. Thoughts, Carl? It's Easter Sunday today, isn't it? So um, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Rick and Steve. Probably at home doing nothing, and they haven't called up yet and given me any instructions. So I'm just gonna have a wander about, see what's going on. Oh, look. I don't think it looks like he didn't have fun. No, I don't think he no. liked that. He's probably sore. Maybe holiday, like the first so. like two minutes of it, he was like, "All right, let's yeah. give it a shot," but then it didn't seem like he liked it. But yeah, I look at the newspapers. Normally, we've got Cheryl Cole on the front of our newspapers. Yeah, here, look, fella, sort of done in. Done in. Come out. They're not scared of death there in Mexico, it. are they? We're going to Mexico to get plastic surgery and died. No. Yeah, four people were going over to Mexico. To, they drove through the border to get plastic surgery. And a van pulled over and killed two of them and, like, 
took the other two as hostages. Because you know why they took them? They thought that they were competing for human trafficking. Like, they thought they were competing human traffickers. Or maybe they just kidnapped them to put them into... Human trafficking, sexual yeah. Sexual slavery. That's fair. Why would you go to Mexico for plastic surgery? It's because cheaper. it's really cheap? Yeah. Okay. Do they do as good of a job, though? I mean... Not, that, not that I know anything about plastic no, surgery. No, some of them actually do. Yeah. They just... Unfortunately, the doctors don't get paid that well down there, either. Yeah, probably. But it doesn't mean they're, like... But sometimes they get, like, cheaper, like, a Botox and stuff that goes in your face, and they end up having, like, bad reactions. Like, it's not, like, real Botox or something like that. But a lot of people get medicine, too, I mean, too, I don't think Mexico you should be putting that shit in your, in your body. I you know, we've anyway. had this talk. Yeah. What? Why would you, you, women are beautiful. Why would you fuck up your beautiful selves? Women have been doing it for generations. <sighs> I mean, you want to go from being beautiful to looking like a, uh, <clears throat> like a crusted clown. But some women don't think they're beautiful, and then they get Botox. And yeah, they because they're better. being lied to, probably by the people by that society. want to sell you the bo- by, probably by the people who want to sell you the the clown piss you put in your face. Mm. That's my. That's what I think. I don't know. I've had a lot of men be like, "Wow, this girl's beautiful." She's like thirty five or forty and doesn't have any wrinkles, and I'm like, "Why do you think she's forty and doesn't have wrinkles?" But like guys don't think because you're they not just... listening to men. You're listening to little, little boys Dude, stuck in men's bo- stuck in I men's bodies. We're all gonna get wrinkles. That doesn't mean you gotta inject your face with, you know, cow dung or whatever. Are you gonna love my wrinkles? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good answer. I already have wrinkles. You don't say shit about them. You're a guy. <laughs> They're not worried about it. I mean, our graveyards don't look like this, do they? This looks like a bit of a holiday camp, in a way, with all the different colours and everything. Those sort of beach huts you this get This is a cemetery? Camp. Yeah, their cemeteries are pretty. They are pretty. Oh, this is the thing we've seen, isn't it? The Chichen, they look Chichen at Eta. death a lot different than we do. I mean, I've, I've heard about this... Well, yeah, that's why their Halloween is... I mean, yeah. it's not... What am I saying? It's not the same holiday, but the Day of the Dead. Yeah. They're celebrating... They celebrate like life, yeah. Yeah, it's and it's wonderful. The and I've seen videos of the in downtown Mexico City Mm -hmm. when they have the festival. It looks amazing. But even when they have like funerals in Mexico, like the couple ones I've seen, they're like joyous things. Right. You know what I mean? Like they still they're celebrating that right the life of that person. It's like that in uh, like in black and crying. Um, a lot of funerals are like that in uh, New New Orleans. Yeah. Too. Um, they have some, uh, wild looking cemeteries in New Orleans too. Mm-hmm. Not, uh, brightly painted like these though, but it's, but it makes it look like less scary. Similar. Like why are our cemeteries like gray cobblestone? Right. You know, like that's this true, looks yeah. happy. That's true. Yeah. The, um, Day of the Dead. And I don't do. want to be scared yeah. when I go to Everyone go visit the local money. To yeah. celebrate the dead people. Cause we don't do that. We find it all a bit morbid, don't we, Death? We don't like to talk about it. Certainly don't have a day dedicated to it. But then we waste days, you know, dedicated to like Pancake Tuesday. I love pancakes. Why have we got a day for pancakes? Yes. It's the sort of thing my dad would do that. He built a barbecue a bit like this. A little grill bit in there. That was a funnel. Oh god, god. Oh my god. It is pretty though. I like it. Alright mate, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad, how are you? It's all right, you know, I'm not having a bad time here. Good. Which is an odd thing to say, because we was wrestling yesterday. How did you get on? Um, it depends. I mean, if it's edited badly, I could come across like a, I'm, I'm weak. But uh, I right. think I've got a few good moves in there. No, obviously it's, uh, it's Easter Sunday. And there's a big, a very authentic Mexican Easter Sunday celebration that's happening today. It's very traditional, but unfortunately the government's sort of trying to ban it. What do you mean? Um, but there's a local fan out that wants you to get involved. What do you mean, the, what, what, what do you mean about the banning bit? Maybe there's something about the event itself that makes them worried. I'm not sure. I've been here now a couple of days and I've already seen that. They're not really bothered about health and safety. 
So the fact that there's something that they are worried about the health and safety of means that it must be pretty mental. That's for you to investigate. So I'm just I'm waiting here for Carlos then, isn't it? Chicken with a gun. Oh my God. <laughs> I like that Carlos. thing right now. How are you doing? You alright? I'm fine, mate. He called him mate. Oh, what the fuck? What are they doing? That's a... Uh, it's kind of a... A whistle. We always do. No, but I, I wasn't that shocked with the whistle. It was sort of the, the 30 foot frog. Oh, uh, yeah. It's called the Judas. We use <laughs> really things care about we don't that, like, obviously. and we burn them. They try to, to stop it because it's a bit dangerous. What sort of danger? Uh, get a, a injury, but not like death. But it's there's a lot of injuries. Look, here's a master craftsman. Yeah. He made fireworks. What, just on the street like this? Yeah. Are these safe? Yeah. Look at him, is it, is, has he lost an eye from doing this? Yeah, one of these fireworks, you know, they turn on and then go like a rocket and then hit you. And he got hit in the eye. Who's taking the security measures? I haven't seen anyone who looks official. I've seen a fellow with one eye who's in charge of making the, <laughs> the yeah, fireworks. We, we, the, that's why the government tried to ban it. But, but it would help the situation if they just got a fellow with two eyes. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the government would say, well, at least they're trying to make it safer. But I don't, I mean, respect to the man for making a living out of it, but I don't think he's the best man for the job. This is a, this is a classical Torito. Yeah. So this one is going to burn. Off of themselves? Yeah. Oh, that is nice. One of those things, yeah, yeah. And they, look, they're just hanging off. They could go anywhere. Um... I think my favorite part of this. I'm going to the crowd. I think my favorite part of these uh, idiot abroad things is like he goes into a country for the first time, and every person he meets from that country, he's like, "Look, you're doing it all wrong here." I know. <laughs> he's like, "Maybe we need we need safety." <laughs> and it's like, no, like that's that's the way they do it. <laughs> that's the way they do it over there, man. It's different. Doesn't mean it's it's uh, wrong. I mean, this might be a little I mean, unsafe. It, but that's like you know they have like in Spain too, but I'm sure they have it here too. It's like the the bull. Oh, I hate things that. going down the road. Oh, the running with the bulls. Running I hate, with the bulls. Like, yeah. have you ever seen like bullfighting? Yeah. Yeah, bullfighting. That's I'm sorry. That's very mean. But at the end, they butcher the bull and eat it. After they stab it seventeen times. It doesn't go to waste. Stop. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I right, I'm playing devil's nice. advocate here. Okay. I still think I know you love your you love your animals, even, love even the really mean things. and nasty ones like fucking gators. Because they're not mean. <laughs> That's just what they're we're meant to do on Earth. They're supposed to eat things yeah, that get close to the lake. They're the cleanup crew. They are. They're soulless. They haven't started war genocides. They haven't invented things that hurt people. They're just being oh, alligators. They haven't started. To, let's go back to uh, my. I think I still have it on you. I reacted to that. Uh, Incident in World War Two, where the Japanese were retreating. They went into the gators' territory. It's an it's an animal. It was just oh, they probably stumbled across like five or ten of them, and then the rest of them were like ha 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 ha. <laughs> I don't think so. You know how many of them died? Like I think it was like almost four hundred of them or something. I, I don't know the exact number, but I know it was in the hundreds. Hundreds yeah, but of an Japanese alligator doesn't go. Is this soldiers, nice if I eat this? Hundreds of Japanese thing. soldiers were eaten. It is Over sad. the course of two days. It is sad. Mental. It's not fucking mental. You'll it say it. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it, mate. So all this is gunpowder, yeah? Yes. I'm not getting under that. No, you're not getting under that, mate. If you want to go up there to... He was like, oh, you're not well, Jamie's in charge yeah. of health and safety, and yet he's fucked off back, you see. So I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm meant to be over there. Is that a safe place? Is that a safe place, mate? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Look at him running. Behind the 
Is that close to Carl? I just got burned. This doesn't look fun. This looks so dangerous. Oh, that's. Let's go. No wonder if this is kind of ended. Well, they like to do dangerous shit over there. Come on, guys. Come on, then. Run, follow how funny he is. The Mexicans have an adventurous spirit, babe. They, they, I'll give them that. It's adventurous. Yes, they do. I it like is. it. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Makes me want to go more now. Oh my gosh, that's because you're a little rebel. Well, if they did anything that involves heights, that's where I'd be like, no. <laughs> I'll do the know. height stuff. You do the gun. I'll do this. Stuff. All right. Yeah. I don't know if I would run with the bulls, though. I, I would I, not do that. I, just, <clears throat> I mean, I think I'd be really scared to do that. I don't think I'd do that. I'd still prefer to do that before I do something with heights, though. Really? Yeah. I'm still pretty fast in my old age. How are you now? Yes, I am. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God, he's freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Was someone safe. But what's this got to do with Jesus? Because it's Easter Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> All right, good question. Oh my god. No hens going on. There's no chocolate eggs. Oh, oh him and the well, chocolate what's eggs. What's this got to do with Jesus? Because it's Easter Sunday. Yeah. There's no hens going on. There's no chocolate eggs. I mean, I haven't read the Bible, but I, I don't remember anyone mentioning setting fire to a cow with a load of fireworks on it. Oh my god, they do it their own <laughs> way. It's like. <laughs> Yeah. He, he doesn't. I, I know he doesn't know. But yeah, but now he's th he thinks of everything from like within ten miles of where he. Well, grew like up. he said, he's like they were like he's a classic <laughs> like Londoner or yeah, like yeah. you know he's a, like a. Well, you know, boy. even I know that you know. Like I come from a Catholic family, and you know we, I know that, our Easter Sundays are going to be, different from. <laughs> You know, the way the Greeks do it, or the yeah. way the Russians do it, or or the way the, the the Spanish do it in Spain. You know. An Easter that you, like, an Easter, a Maryland Easter is going to be different than a Florida Easter. Exactly, yeah. Your neighbor is going to have a different Easter than the one you yeah. have. It's, everyone's different. I think my favorite's Greek Easter, though. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the their lamb. food is amazing. The lamb, dude. Oh. We need oh, to get you some so, lamb. Yes, soon. I'm craving lamb. We gotta go to our favorite Greek restaurant. We haven't restaurant, been there so. forever. Yeah, we, we gotta. Need to go we need to go there soon. The thing is, we burn things, and we think that it's Judas yeah. Iscariot. You know, it's like in vengeance. You know, you betrayed Jesus Christ, so you're going to burn. But I wasn't getting that from that. I just, I just saw <laughs> lunatics. It's a cowardly thing. Oh. Dude, he hates this. I wouldn't like that either. It looks that one like just literally just blew up. Yeah. Steve sent me a text, sort of saying, right, you know, stop all your messing about, which is a bit out of order. He's the one who sorted all this out. But he said, you know, you're not there for messing about. You're meant to be seeing the, the wonder. So I'm going to uh, make the way over that way today. So you might as well stop off on the way, and meet some charros. I didn't know what they were. He they, they said they're uh, sort of Mexican cowboys. Mexican cowboys, all right. Ricky sort of said to Steve Howdy. to try a sombrero. On. That was the main Howdy. thing he wanted. Not sort of broadening your mind Hola. or meeting local people, trying local food. He just wants me to wear a hat. Close your mouth. Yeah. Looking good, Carl. <laughs> Oh, that was impressive. Oh, I forgot they do that. Not thing my sort of thing, really. You know, cowboys and that. Hard. I've never been into them as a kid or anything. Like I don't think the horse is into it. Oh, maybe he is. I don't know. <laughs> no, they're pretty strong. Gonna <laughs> be sore yeah, after this. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're meant to be like proper men, though, aren't they? You have to know how to pose. But then, you know, are they? 
If I went home and met up with my mates and said, oh, what are you doing these days? And oh, I've got into horses. They'd go, what's, what's happened to you, you, you knob? Do you know what I mean? It's not a very manly thing to do at home. Turn! 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 Hit the reins. I know. For some reason, when you think of cowboys, you do think oh. manliness. Oh. Oh. Yep, he looks in pain. <laughs> But I think no. If there's anything we learned from the uh, Jordan episode in particular, he does not like riding on animals. No. Well, that poor camel was tired and didn't want to do it no more. Yeah. Somebody got mad at you in the comments. Oh, why? Because uh, you were uh, sympathetic towards the camel. Why? I'm so sorry. I'm sympathetic. I can't remember what they said. I can't remember what they said. It was. What was on the Patreon? It was like yeah. It was something like. I'm gonna uh, go read it. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm sympathetic towards anything. I feel bad that yeah. his balls hurt. I feel bad. I I don't know. That's how I am. I want everything and everyone to have a happy life. And the yeah. camel didn't look like it had a good time. Yeah. The uh, end of rant. But the uh, the camel. I mean, a camel lasts much longer than a horse, unless it's Carl's camel. Because Carl, Carl's camel was like, "Fuck off." No, it was the other guy's <laughs> camel. It was the... No, I thought it was Carl's. No, honey. He just kept sat, sitting down. No, it was the other guy's. It was? It was the... Are you sure? 100... Okay. I would never... Well, actually, I don't want to say 100%, but 99.9%. .9%. Okay. Right? What if you're wrong? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> if... If what? If, I don't know. No? If I'm wrong, I have to make breakfast tomorrow. If you're wrong, you have to make breakfast. Deal. And you have to make it at 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? Okay. 7.45. Because I have to leave here at 8. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A little bit now. Maybe cowboys aren't like that. Since, you know, since Brokeback Mountain and the village people, there's been little things eating away at cowboys that are sort of ruining the reputation a little bit. John Wayne. You know, didn't he turn out to be gay? Okay. They will bring something to toughen you up a little bit and then you will ride the bull. I can't get on the bull. You shouldn't be getting on the bull. We've got loads of horses here. Why are we messing about on an animal that you don't shouldn't ride? Yeah, I wouldn't. They haven't be too got brains, have they? they ride ride ball. They'll just run riot. <sighs> I don't want to do it. We will have just a little drink of tequila to smoothen your muscles and give you a little bit of strength. One kind of tequila. They put there it is. Yay! I knew. There it is. That's Eat what you were worm. looking for. Oh, that's uh, he already has to say about the worm. Muscles and give you a little bit of strength. One kind of tequila. They put worms in it, and it's a very nice thing to offer the worm to the guest. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Does the worm have like halluc hallucinogenic? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've I've it heard that before, up. but I I don't know if that's just like a, a long standing rumor or what. No, it does something. They put worms in it, and it's a very nice thing to offer the worm to the guest. What is wrong with you people? May we split? Just piss arsing about on bulls, drinking worms. I've been wrestling. I've only been here about three days. It's like everyone's daring each other to do something stupid. <laughs> get on a cow, get on a bull. Hey, let's have a wrestle. Eat a worm. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's never ending. It's just actually for us, this is normal, man. What I know, but that's that? what's frightening. He said the worm is normal here. <sighs> do you chew or do you just swallow? Of course you chew and you try to figure out mm -hmm. the flavor and everything. Right. I don't remember Here we go. Part. Do oh. it with the alcohol. <laughs> Swallow it! Oh my god! Do it with the tequila! Get a little drunk before you eat a worm. It's still in there! Drink the tequila! Oh my god, I love this. Oh gosh! <laughs> I honestly feel, uh, I was feeling really bad for him at that moment. What do you <clears throat> and I'm also, it's like 50% 50, 50 of me feels really bad for him because he's he's not enjoying this at all. Yeah. 
And then the other 50% is like, this is fucking hilarious. Eat the worm. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. I, I don't bend over because I'm going to be sick. Right, well, okay. Let's, let's jump inside. <clears throat> Come on, get on the, get on the bull. Take a shot. Actually, I don't know why I'm rooting for that because I would not get on this fucking yes, yes. thing either. Can I see him? I'm gonna take three I get it. Uh, I've caught you out, haven't I? Get him pissed up, stick him on a bull. If anything happens, you just see this isn't this isn't helping, Eugene. You know, seeing I've got to suddenly jump out of the way. Shit! Look, 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 look. Shit! Hey, come on! I'm not coming out there. No, seriously, Jamie, I, I can't. There's no way. Look. I I didn't know it was gonna be that small. Yeah. If it was that small, I'd probably do it. Yeah. I was thinking like, no, this is a full fledged. Like the W, B. What is it? W B. P B R. P B R. Professional bull riding. Are you reciting the alphabet? <laughs> no, it's P B R. That's what comes to Florida. It's Professional Bull Riding Association. Is, is that it? Yeah. Okay. You gotta learn, boy. Okay. Got the P B R. All right. Well, All you right. Know, I'm trying to integrate myself to Florida. All right. Well, well then you been, need to learn about the P B R. It's been six years now. I consider myself a Floridian now, but apparently not, according to my beautiful not woman. Not if you don't know about the PBR. <laughs> Pack it in. Keep it short. Let's see. What's that he's got? It's for handling the... Right, exactly. No, no. Fucking hell, the way... Hey! No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Just let me go home. No. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> What was that? Stop winding me up now. <laughs> Seriously, right? Enough's enough. Come on. Can you know? No chance. Carl. Get it. Come back, man. Carl. Uh, it's your turn. No. Carl. No, leave it. Seriously, I've, I've ridden the horse. I've had a drink. I've eaten a worm. <laughs> Carl, come back. No. I've had a drink. I've eaten a worm. <laughs> load of bees here. He's anywhere safe. Oh, this poor guy. Do you sell, do you sell Mexican jumping beans? Mexican jumping beans? Oh my God, he's still going off. But no. I know. Do you know, um... Uh, do you remember those? Mexican no. jumping beans? When I was a kid, they had a toy that was like Mexican jumping beans. And like it was like magnets were like inside of these things that looked like beans, and if you shook them, the magnets would like go back and forth for a minute, so they would actually like jump in your hand. But yeah. you couldn't actually eat them; it was like a toy. Right? It's not. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah. yeah. I know they're not real. No, I don't understand why you've never heard of them. <laughs> One of the best things to come out of Mexico: little bean. <laughs> You're all stood around here, nothing to do. You'd love these things. Just pop them on the floor, jump about. You seen that? What is it? It's a thing, isn't it? It's the uh, Chichen Itza that we've seen. I mean, it's meant to be a place that, yeah. you know, they used to sacrifice people and all that, but they've stuck it on a number plate. You have one. Yeah, that's a brutal Hello, mate. Steve here, there. with me. Now listen, we've got some Steve, exciting news for you. Um, Chichen Itza was built by an ancient civilization called the Mayans. You're probably aware of that. Uh, but anyway, you're going to be meeting some of the ancestors of the people who actually built it. Just be nice, okay? You'll get. Well, change of plan, isn't it? I thought I was going to be seeing the wonder today, but Ricky and Steve have called up, said, "Forget that. Um, you're going to be spending the afternoon in a little village with some Mayan people." So. Should be all right, should it? Yeah, I, I yeah the human sacrifice part as well. Have you ever seen Apocalypto? No, I don't want to. Uh, you don't want to? No. Oh my god, it's one of the most amazing movies. I heard it's also I've very violent seen. and very awful. Violent. Then now I don't want to see it. It's like, you know, like chase movies. Yeah. Where like you know or somebody's trying to get someone. another person. Yeah. It's like that, but in in um, I can't remember if it's uh. The Mayans or the Aztecs that they portray in that movie, but they're similar. Yeah. In in ways. But um 
Yeah, imagine a chase movie in the Aztec Empire, the Mayan yeah. civilization. Yeah. It's wild. No, I'm good. It's why it's one of the most it if scary. you can handle like really violent movies, um I highly recommend Apocalypto. It's one of the most amazing movies ever made. Mel Gibson might be a nut, but he he's he makes incredible movies. I don't know if I can watch it. He's not actually in it. He's just the director. Yeah. He ma- he made that. Yeah, I think he made it. Like I think I saw shortly after the Passion of the, when he made the Passion. I shortly after he made saw the Passion like of Christ. A two minute insert from that movie, and I was like, nope, nope, I'm good. It's brutal. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm brutal good. stuff. But it's it's incredible. Like it's one of those movies where you're like, you, you can't take your eyes off it. Uh-huh. For all that hassle on the you know anyway. the horses with the charros and that, it should be a nice little relaxing afternoon. Really. Louise. Hola. Hey, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm Carl. Nice to meet you, Carl. Good to see you. You're a big lad. Yeah. Who's this? Here's my uncle. Okay. Jose. Your uncle. Jose. Yeah. Jose. Jose. Nice yeah, to see Jose. you, Jose. The name of this small village is Yashuna. Yashuna has around 500 people. It's a quiet place. It's not like a big city. Because we don't have a lot of things to do here. No, there's nothing to do here, is no, there, really? No, nothing. It's just working in the, in the cornfield. And then you go back to your home. Buenas tardes, Vistuna Bell. Has he had a good day? Is he happy? Eh, ¿Qué me acabó bien? Bien. Yes. He <laughs> said yes. When did he last have a bad day? Eh, in as him. Is it there? Never. Never. Oh, he's I like happy. Him. He looks happy. He's got a happy face. Yeah, he exactly. Yeah, yeah he's, he's smiling. smiling. Everyone just stood around. Look, there's a fellow there just playing with a bit of rubber. Oh, what day it is? It can't be good for you, this, can it? That fellow who was smiling, yeah. has he ever seen other life? <laughs> has he ever been to say? No, just here in this little town, living here in the little house. Oh. But what happens? Really? He doesn't know what he's missing now, does he? Anyway, he said, uh, let's go and knock down a wasp nest. I said, you what? He said, yeah, we knock down the wasp nest and get all the, um, get the larva from it. What do you do with them? Uh, we go to eat it. Larva? Wasp yeah. larva? Yes. You eat wasp yeah. lava. There is the wasp nest. It's different. Oh, yeah. Uh, shitting yourself, yeah. I was. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> They're all coming out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. This is stupid. <laughs> Seriously, how good can a lava egg taste? Is it worth it? It's a good question, Carl. I'm, like, thinking yeah, about it because I hate it. wasps. I yeah. wasp for, like... Have you ever seen those memes where it's like bumblebees uh, mm-hmm. poll- pollinate things and uh, yeah, we need honeybees make honey and then um, and then it comes to a wasp and it just says asshole with wings? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been stung by a wasp? Yes. I got stung on really? my belly button oh, my and it looked like I had two belly buttons really? and it hurt. Oh god, it hurts so bad. Yeah, because I hate I hate wasps, but like I don't know. Don't if... they like die after they sting you? Yeah. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. I think they all do. I could be wrong though. But uh, yeah, they're supposed to die after they I sting think you. Bumblebees like don't stain you. I don't think they do either. Yeah, actually. like the ones now that colony. That I, I don't think they stain you. I think it's just honeybees. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I don't know if honeybees pollinate, but yeah, they do. Who knows? I'm not honey. a I'm not a bee expert, so. I want to be be a beekeeper. You do? Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. I love honey. Yeah. I got one in my Move your hand, move your hand. Fucking hell, it's on. There it is. They also oh, taste you too, boss. Yep. Don't ruin it, okay? Just look at it. Well, nothing. These mm. little larvas, <laughs> wasp larvas, are still in life, and you can eat it like this. Went in their house, tiny place. Tight in there, isn't it? Then a woman who was doing the cooking, she'd made some um, tortillas. And then they got the larva out of the wasp nest. They said, it's all right, we've, we've stuck them in some chilies and stuff. Fuck, oh, no. Fuck, <laughs> whoa, hot. I can't eat that. You can, you can hardly taste them, the chilies are the more part. Well, don't put them in then. If it's the chilies that's nice and the sauce, don't bother with the grubs. Ah, oh, Jesus, Protein. that's really hot. It um, is. It's a good source of protein. And I thought but... I'd give them some, some, you know, new experience. I'm actually 
<laughs> What's that? Better ah. monster munch. Pop it in your mouth. I really wish mosquitoes were edible because I hate those. Oh, you like that? It's good, isn't it? I mean, I think Louise oh. has had stuff like that. You don't get that fat from wasp larvae. Oh I mean, he had a belly on him. Oh. And he kept saying, oh, no, it's the wasp stuff. It makes you big and strong. How many are you eating? Because they're only that big, and there's not much fat in them. No, you don't but the those. uncle, you could tell he, he was kind of like, oh, this is all right, this. I think he enjoyed it. So I'm happy about that. I gave him a new experience there, I think. And I just was hoping that they'd get a taste of something new. I think, do you know what? I might, I might leave this little village and go into town and get some crisps. Anyway, I have to see the wonder that they built tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Carlos, Steve here, mate. How's it going? I am presuming you were suitably impressed by the Mayans, and so now is the time for you to finally see the wonder that they built all those years ago, Kitchen Itza. Sure, I just saw something. Get there before dawn, all right, mate, because you'll miss all the tourists then. And um, it'll be, you know, particularly spectacular because the sun will be coming up. Jealous of you. I'm very That's very that true. That That's dark. what we did with the, uh, the Parthenon, the yeah. Acropolis in Athens. We, we were the up first at like ones 5 there. 5 a.m. Had yeah. breakfast and then walked over to the Parthenon. And the sun had nice. just come up, so the lighting of the top of it looked. Incredible. And we could like take pictures and like we had the whole place like it felt like to ourselves. There was a yeah. very small group of people. We got, actually got a video uh, of that on the channel if you want to yeah. search through it's the really nice. channel. And even the museum too. We went to the museum and we got to see everything. Yeah. But then when we were walking out there was like a wave of people yeah. coming in. So we beat all those people. Yeah, out. it was so nice. Yeah. If you're interested in seeing our trip to Greece, I, th I think three videos we got up of, of that. So just type in uh, King Boomer Greece. Yeah. And they'll probably pop up right away. Very jealous of you, mate. Enjoy. What's that? Is there someone pumping a tyre up? Every wonder that I've been to so far, I've been whinging a lot, haven't I? So I'm going to try and change my attitude on this one, because that's what this trip's been about, really. I've been eating all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. You know, I've been doing things that I wouldn't normally do, so I'm going to try and go there with the idea that I'm going to love it. Is this it? Looks a bit foggy, but it Hello? looks great. Yeah, I'm filming now. I'm at the, I'm at the actual I'll just wonder. I imagine, like, all those years ago, they were looking up at that being like, oh, they're sacrificing Dave today. But I told you what to do. You just get the... You get the scart lead. That's coming out the back of the DVD player. Yeah, and just stick that in the back of the telly. There's, like, a... There's two holes. Use the first one. Jesus, I'm at the... Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, it's just a big pyramid. Oh, my God. Right, well, all, all you've got to do is hit that AV button on the remote control and it'll come up. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, she's just like him. Yeah, he, she is. <laughs> I'm staring at this wonderful period. Fuck that. How do I get the DVD player going? <laughs> I want to see her. I wonder if they're still together. I don't I know. Like, I've never seen her at all. She's, she gets talked about a lot on the Ricky Gervais show, but I've never actually seen a picture of her or anything. And We're looking it up after this. I don't know if we'll find anything, but... Okay. Hola. Welcome to Chichen Itza, home to one of the most amazing and advanced cultures in history, the Mayas. I am Gabriela, and I will be your host. Buenos dias, Gabriela. Yes, the Maya were amazing. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence that point to this site as once being covered in human skulls. I mean, we're only really? sort of just started listening. I was shaking my head because I, I can't listen to, like, people. Yeah. Like, Welcome to this beautiful tour. Like, no. Like, I just want to... If there's something that needs to be found out, I'm going to read it. Yeah. You know, if there's something there, I can read. Or if there's not enough information, you know, like, I'll I look like, it up. I like tour guides. If you, like, I tell it to me, like, not like you're a game show host. Yeah. Like if you if like how you explain stuff is interesting because you just like say it. Like if they were like, 
when they actually dug this up, it was covered in thousands of skulls. I'd be like, oh, shit, yeah. that's cool to know. But when they're like, geez, Barbara, did you know that when they dug this up, it was covered in thousands <laughs> of human skulls? I'm like, did I win a prize now? Like, I hate when they tell it like that. Somebody got his head chucked off off the top of the stairs. All right. Can you guess how much blood came out? <laughs> Yeah, it drives me. That would drive me nuts. In a way, it's like it right, you want a violence. It's just what they used to do with all like these dead heads. Stick the skulls on, frighten people off. So it was it was sort of cladded in heads. If you lived around here, you'd constantly be hearing like screaming going on. And as nice as it is, it's lovely. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All these trees, nice buildings and that. But that would make me go, I want to move. To be honest. Having all that going on they all the time, someone screaming the tripe out. Uh, and they sacrificed their home. This would have been a good hiding place when you think about it. If you're, if you're due to have your head cut off, great place to sort of run around, isn't it? Got too many, though, aren't they? It's like an Ikea for, like, columns, isn't it? Which one, which one do you want? Well, I need, they're all the same, just... Can't get a shot of them. How many do you want? How many do you need? Standing at the Tampantli, you can still get that eerie feeling that the Spaniards felt when they first witnessed the human sacrifice. This looks pretty too. I really like this. this Jesus, that is big, isn't it? It's coming this way. Oh, I love him. Okay, now. Oh my God! Don't give it chocolate. Can I love that? Was that chocolate? Yeah. No. Oh, don't give him chocolate. No, it's seen it. Yeah, I'll have a bit more of that. It's weird how you can have something in common with something so different. No, it's just going to eat whatever you throw at it. It's That's like lizard. millions of years old, isn't it? He's going to have a tummy. But he still likes later. a hobnob. Iguana diarrhea is what you just gave him. Like I'm up to here with this. Oh, yeah. Got any um, jumping beans? Mexican Chocolate. jumping beans? No. Do you know anyone who does around here? No. Look at those plates. No I like those. Why not? I tell you, you'd make a killing. Just get rid of half the plates. Have some I jumping beans. Yeah, I really like them. Yeah. Very cold. Oh, it's getting busy now, isn't it? Yeah. What's the clapping thing about? Yeah, it's just... Oh, now I'm hearing it. It's like a boing, boing, yeah, boing. Yeah. boing. Is that me doing yeah. that? Just fluke, though, innit? That, that can't be... Whoever designed that didn't say to the builder, right, listen, I need some sort of structure, some sort of platform that we can cut heads off. We want the head to roll down, and then just at the bottom, something where I clap and it sort of bounces back. They wouldn't, that just wouldn't be on the to-do list. <laughs> is that, I mean, who, who, you know, is that... I mean, we can't the, hear it that well, but I'm guessing it's like an echo yeah. that comes back. Yeah. They wanted this to be like, when they built it, this wonder, a wonder of the world. Is she all right here? This woman's fainted. Oh. Uh, you see, though, look, everybody loves it. It gets a bigger crowd than the wonder now. Because people go, what's going on, Elsie? Oh, no, no, get the camera out. I think they're dying. Oh, my God. No, oh, she's still alive. Let's move on. Yeah, our ambulance now. <laughs> Oh my God, Carl. I prefer to get out of here now. I feel like I've seen it. I've had a bit of a lesson with this. It's been all right. It's not been my favorite bit of Mexico, if I'm honest. I thought it was. I thought you were shit. having the most fun. I'm half tempted just to sort of fall over like that woman and get a lift home. Just get a lift home. I'm going home today. Well, it's all right, you know, I'm always sort of happy about going home. But, um,. But I've enjoyed it here. Have you? Quite a lot. Okay. I'd probably say it's my favourite place I've ever been to. Which is a pretty big statement. Did he just say it's his favourite? I think he said I mean, the wonder wasn't great. Oh, he said, oh. 
quite a lot. I'd probably say it's my favourite place I've ever been to. Oh, wow. Which is a wow. pretty big statement, isn't it? I mean, the wonder wasn't great. I wouldn't say come to Mexico to see the wonder. It's everything else. There doesn't seem to be any sort of rules. They just do what they want to do. And I felt like I've been able to do what I want to do whilst I've been here, really. That's something else as well. Women are quite, um, you know, they look quite big, big people, a lot of them. Do you like that? In a way, because they don't care. At home, women don't eat what they want to eat, do they? You go, what are you having? They'll go, you know, I'll say to Suzanne, oh, we have chippy. Yeah, all right, I'll just have, I'll just have haddock. And then I, I go, well, I'm having cod and chips. And then you get them. And she's like, can I have some chips? No, you can't. You had the option to have chips. But you said you don't want to. It's all that thing right. about weight. Where is he? She's having chips. <laughs> you think he's right? I mean, uh, nah. <laughs> what? What? Are you picking a fight? I do. Yes, you are. You don't have that problem where you like make a decision and then you go, well, I want this. Your problem is making a decision. Yeah. <laughs> like, true. I want everything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so it's not the same thing. I know you're <laughs> looking at me like, oh, these same thing no, all, you would say. No, because I'll want to eat not. some of your food just because I like to have like yeah. different things. But we do that often whenever we go out to a place we share. Yeah, I love that. Meals, yeah. Because we... we for the most part, we like the same stuff. Yeah. I just like to, like, because sometimes you'll read a menu and you're like, ooh, I want to get this dish and this dish. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to eat two dishes. So he'll get a dish that we're both going to like. I'll yeah. get a dish that we're both going to like. And then we, like, split it. Especially when we go to a seafood place. Because yeah. we love seafood and there's all different kinds. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. She's having chips day in, day out. She's not bothered. And I quite like that. It's, it's a sort of a, a free spirit they've got, isn't it? They live the life they want to live, which we don't really do at home. You know, I, I like it. I think I could live here for a bit. The only thing you, that Carl. I'm a bit sort of gutted about is not seeing a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> oh, God. It's not a, I don't think it's a thing. Yeah. That's how they end it. Well, I'm happy that he said it was his favorite place he's been. Yeah. Though. I was shocked he said that though because he it looked like he hated all of it except the last bit. I know it was funny. And then he gets to the last bit and he says that wasn't my favorite part of the trip, to be honest. It's like what you liked all the other stuff where you were moaning the whole time. Yeah. He likes to moan though, so. Oh, it's like the third most googled thing. Third like, most wow. googled thing. Meet Suzanne. She's cute. Is that really her, though? It looks like three different people. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, who knows who yeah. it is? It's like three different blonde chicks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she wants to be famous anyway, because I'm sure she would have popped up by now. If uh, she wanted to be noticed, so. But uh, anyway, babe. You let us know. Is that Suzanne? Let no, us know. I don't think it is. But uh, yeah, what'd you think? I really liked it. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, and uh, I didn't. I didn't know you've been there before. Yeah. So makes me jealous. I was young. Do we have the same place he was? Like he was? 12. I think so. It looked like it. You were twelve though. Yeah, I was young. I was like yeah. eleven or twelve. Okay. Not quite at the age where you appreciate that kind of thing. No. Because like, I'm sure if I was there when I was 12, I would have acted like a little little jackass. That's why I'm like, I'm happy that I traveled, but I'm upset that I traveled so young because you don't appreciate it as much. Because mm -hmm. now, like, when we went to Greece, I appreciated literally every single moment. Yeah. Oh, that was my favorite trip of all time. Yeah, mine too. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. But, uh, yeah, I thought... Uh, it was a great episode. Which but one? he's right. The Mexican people have a uh, have a wild spirit, man. Yeah, they do. They, they, they crazy. They like to get in some wild stuff. Would you say they're adventurous? Yeah. Adventurous, yeah. Where that's, is he going next? I mean. 
Uh, Egypt. Oh, I'm excited for There's that There's one, one particular thing from Egypt that I remember. Yeah. From, from previously watching this like 10 years ago. I'm excited. But it's only like one minute of it. Oh, the right. rest of it I don't really remember. What are you looking at? I'm trying to see the sides. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that... I think there's... Well, there's got to be seven episodes. Yeah, seven worms sense. of the world, yeah. so... But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, sorry for pausing it so much, but with these yeah, particular ones, we like to... We, well, with this particular reaction with the Indie Abroad, we like to talk about stuff. Yeah. So... Um, sometimes we get criticized for that, yeah. but uh, it's okay. Because, you know, we're not... We don't know everything. That's why we're talking. Um... But let us know what you think in the comments. If there's any particular thing that was interesting that you found in here, put that in the comments as well. Um, and remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I can't wait to watch the next one. Yeah, I know. Me too. So, I'm great. really getting into these again. I know. Because I've never seen them, so I really like them. I remember in the past, like, because I had so many requests to do this, and yeah. I was like, well, I've already... Uh I've already seen the first season. I like that so. it's funny, but it's also like educational. Yeah, like I feel no, like it's I'm very interesting. Stuff when I watch it, it's 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 so interesting. Yeah. And watching it back after all these years, like I forget, I forgot most of it. So, which means, uh, most likely, I have a brain issue. Oh no. <laughs> Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop. No. I hope that hasn't hit me yet. I'm ready for a snack. I'm ready for food. Yeah, me yeah? too. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to go, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And um, and come back for episode six? Six. No, it's five. Five. Egypt, Egypt five. five. <laughs> so this was four, yeah. I can't count. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Bye.